This After Effects tutorial is sponsored by nitrosme.com. Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from dopemotions.com and welcome back to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In today's video, we will be creating a text displacement animation inside of After Effects that too without using any plugins. It's a super fun effect, looks pretty dope and you can use it in a number of different ways. So make sure you stay tuned throughout the video so you learn each and every technique that I'm going to show you in this tutorial. You can also Follow me on Instagram at dope.motions. I have mentioned all the links in the description below. With that said, let's jump straight into After Effects and get started. Alright, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition so you can hit ctrl n on the keyboard i'm going to keep it at 1920 by 1080 30 fps in 10 seconds long let's call this render as our main render comp hit ok then select the text tool and then you can of course type in anything that you want for the font i'm using the outer sense i have mentioned the link in the description so you can download the same exact font i'm going to type in design and let's align this into the center you can find the align tab by going into windows align all right now let's move the anchor point in the center so make sure your text layer is selected hold control and double click on the pan behind tool that should move that all right now for the text make sure the fill color is set to black and the stroke is set to white so all you have to do is select it double click it and then make sure it's set to white now let's select the text layer make sure you select the pan behind tool and holding control move your anchor point so it snaps to the left just like that all right let's select the layer hit s to bring down the skill properties unlink this and let's bring that down to zero create a keyframe i'm gonna go at around let's say 20 frames so i can zoom in my timeline move my time indicator at 20 frames and set this back to 100 then let's hit p to bring down the position properties create a keyframe hit a to bring down the anchor point property create a keyframe and then you can hit u so we can see just the keyframes go to 10 second and 10 frames let's create a keyframe on the anchor point and the position and the scale select the anchor point so make sure you select the pan behind tool and again holding control move this to the right like so then go at two seconds and set the scale to zero so now we should have something like this pretty cool and that is what i'm going for let's let's put the time indicator at two seconds select the layer and hold alt and close square bracket or right square bracket to crop that layer hit ctrl shift c to recompose it i can call it whatever that i want i'm gonna call this text now make sure the adjust composition duration to the time span of the selected layer is on and hit ok so it creates the composition of the same length of the layer which is inside that pretty awesome now let's go back into our text composition and here we need to use a simple free script from animation composer that is called as keyframe wingman so i've mentioned the link in the description so make sure you download and install the animation composer and once you install that go into windows and there you will find the animation composer keyframe wingman it is it is very necessary for this tutorial so i'm gonna hit u select the keyframes of the scale properties right click keyframe assistant easy ease them go into the graph editor and just to show you guys what's happening here i'm going to select this keyframes again and i can tweak the keyframe wingman as a, and as you can see i can manipulate the graph just like that now i can do that of course manually but i want to do it really quick using some specific numbers so now if i preview this we get this really nice and snappy animation pretty cool now let's go back into our render comp select this composition hit ctrl d to duplicate it let's move it to the place where it starts to animate out to so somewhere around there and let's place this one right here so now we have something like this but let's move it a bit forward so that it aligns up properly and this is what we want then go into fix and preset and search for invert let's apply that and boom now we have this really cool look so 
I'm going to repeat this process a couple of more times. So let's go right here. Hit control D to duplicate it and place it just like so. Pretty awesome. Let's hit control D. So I'm going to select these layers and delete the invert effect from them. All right. So now we have this really cool looking animation. Now let's create a new adjustment layer called this uh, time. Go into effects and preset and search for time displacement. Double click to apply that. And now you can see some weird things happening here. So now we need to give the time displacement a his, his own time displacement layer. So we have to create a map for that. So, so in order to do that, I'm going to create a new composition called this map hit. Okay. And I want to create a three point gradient. Now you cannot create a three point gradient using the gradient ramp because we only get two points for that. So how should we do that? You can simply double click to create a shape layer and then go right here in the fill property, click on that. And now I can switch to linear gradient hit. Okay. Let's move this point right here and this one right over here. Then go into this properties gradient fill, go into edit gradient and right here I can simply click to add a new point. Then select this point and make this black. So now we have a three point gradient and this is going to influence our time displacement. So now let's go back into our render composition, drag and drop in the map. We can hide that. And in the time displacement, let's select our map. And now, boom, there we get a really interesting displacement. Now, depending on the maximum displacement time, I can bring that down or up. So if I set this to 0.2, it's going to be much more chunkier. It's going to be much more chunkier as you can see. But as I bring up the number, so if I set this to 0.8, it's going to be much more smoother and there are going to be much more displacement right here. So I can set this to around 0.6, something like that looks much better. And boom, there we have created this really interesting looking displacement. Now, before I proceed further with this tutorial, I just want to take a minute and talk about today's sponsor nitrosme.com. They have a special cyber week sale going on on their website, all their massive packs, which is also their best sellers like video library, AR tools, all in one transitions, and many more are on flat 50% off sale right now. This is one of their biggest sale campaign of 2021. So make sure to grab your favorite packs right now, as this is a limited time offer and ends in a few days. All the items come with unlimited licensing, meaning you purchase the pack once and use it for unlimited projects personal as well as commercial. For more information, check out the link in the description below. So now I can select the text layers and probably move them a bit forward in time so it gets out of the frame. And now we have this really nice look. Now let's select everything. Hit Control Shift C to pre-compose it. Call this animation. And let's add some nice RGB look to this. So I can simply hit Control D two times to create two copies, set both of these to screen or add. Then select the first copy, go into effects and preset and search for shift channels. Double click to apply that. Set the green from to full off and blue from to full off. Hit Control C to copy this, paste it on the second one. Hit Control V. Set the red to off and turn on the green. Paste it on the third one, set this to full off, oh, set the red to full off and turn on the blue and then move them by one frame or displace them by one frame. So make sure you are just displacing it by one frame. And now we have this cool RGB look to this looks pretty sick. And finally, I can create a new adjustment layer called this glow. Go in effects and preset and search for the traditional glow. Set the threshold to around 55. I'm going to increase the glow radius to 15. I think that looks good. Hit control D to duplicate it. Set, uh, set the second glow to something like a really high number. So we get much more nicer glows here. 
you bring down this to 0.7 or something and now in order to achieve more more prominent glows i can switch to 16 bits so hold alt and switch to 16 bits and then let's create one more new adjustment layer and add some noise to this so let's go into effects and preset and search for noise apply that maybe around two to three percent should be quite enough and this will help us to get rid of any kind of color bendings now you may see a bit of color bendings due to the youtube compression but in your main project you should get rid of that so there we have a really cool looking text displacement effect using some very simple and easy technique inside of our proof effects now because the animation is influenced by the map that we created we can actually switch the map so i can hit r to bring down the rotation let's rotate it by 90 degrees and scale this up like so if i go back into my render com you can see we have a different animation so let's preview this so this is how the map influences the animation so you can actually you know create a different map if you want to i can even rotate it to something like this and now if i preview this you can see we have a different animation so the possibilities are quite endless with this technique and you can do a number of different things so that is all for today guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did you know the drill like this video do let me know in the comment section below what you want to see next on this channel and i will try to create a tutorial around it you can also follow me on instagram at dope.motions i have mentioned all the links in the description below so make sure to check it out and with that said i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out